Hello and welcome back to our next video series on Excel Draw. This one is going to be the latest version, Excel Draw version 6. And there's lots of things that have changed in Excel Draw between version 5 and 6. First off, we now have a self installer. So whenever you download Excel Draw, you're going to be greeted with this file here. And all you have to do is simply double click on it to install Excel Draw. Now something else that has changed with Excel Draw version 6 is also the inclusion of another product which is DXF Reader GT. And DXF Reader GT is our product that we offer as a standalone application that will allow you to open up and view the data inside of DXF documents. So as you can see, whenever you install the product, you will have two more icons on your desktop right here. One is Excel Draw version 6. The other one is DXF Reader GT. I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel Draw version 6. So as you can see here, whenever it first opens up, you're going to see this window that says Excel Draw, uh, please wait while Excel Draw loads. It is checking for any updates that may be available whenever you first load up Excel Draw. So Excel Draw is contained inside of this little tab right up here called Excel Draw version 6. And if you click on that, you can see that the layout has changed a little bit, but all of the functionalities are there. And there's a few more things added to this menu bar. Now, the first thing I want to point out is going to be the new graphing engine that we have in Excel Draw version 6. So I'm going to very quickly just drop down some values here. Okay, so we do not have any Z values enabled, so we do not need to select Z values. Just select your objects, and this is going to be a line, or it's going to be two lines actually, and I'm just going to click line. And as you can see, we now have a drawing populated here, and if I jump down here to the circle, if I just select all those values, the X, the Y, and the radius, jump up here to circle, we can add a circle. Now you can notice that the circle is kind of going off the screen. If you want to adjust the zoom on your drawing, go to graph orientation. It's that little 3D button with the arrows around it. If you click that, a new window is going to come up and you can actually use this to zoom in and out of your drawing so you can see it a little bit better. Now previously, whenever we were graphing with the scatter plots and charts and things like that. You can only have so many objects because Excel was limited to what it could do. Now there's not really much of a limit. The only limit is how fast your computer is and how quickly you can process the data that you have put into it. Something else that is new with Excel Draw is the ability to open up DXF documents. So previously there was only so many different types of documents that you could actually open up inside of Excel Draw, but this is why we have incorporated DXF Reader GT. If you start a new sheet, that means you want to start a new drawing and you can just simply hit load drawing. And whenever you click that, a new window or a new application will open. That is going to be DXF Reader GT, as you see right here. Now, this is also the trial version. Once you purchase the full version of Excel Draw, it will also unlock DXF Reader GT. I believe that right now it's a $75 value that is included with your purchase of Excel Draw. So there's no additional cost to actually activate DXF Reader GT. You're basically getting two programs for the price of one. So how you do this is load in a document and I currently have a DXF document that I have pre-selected for this and it is called Bridge. So if I open this up, you can see that's going to have all the data and information from the DXF document loaded into DXF Reader GT. Now the trial version will only let you have up to 25 lines of data, which is perfectly fine. So right now, since we open this with Excel Draw, if we hit export to Excel, it will automatically take all the data, put it into Excel Draw, and graph it for you as well. And you can also take this, go in there, zoom in and out, make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need, and you can also rotate it too. Another big change is the installation of the add-in into Excel itself. So right now, if we were to close out of this, let's go ahead and close, and I don't want to save, 
and I open up Excel again. So let's just type in Excel. So when I open up Excel, you're going to be seeing that Excel Draw is not actually an option up the top. And that's because I don't have it installed yet. But it's very simple to install Excel Draw. Just open up the Excel Draw add-in, enable the macro like you would do normally, and then once it gets done loading, go to the Excel Draw tab and click install slash uninstall. So this is actually going to put the Excel Draw add-in inside of Excel. So now every time you close out of Excel and you open it back up, you're going to notice that Excel Draw is currently loaded. So you don't have to open it up every time. Now this is just the beginning tutorial. I just wanted to show off some of the new things that we had going on. There's lots of more new things that I'm going to be showing you later on. But in the next video, I'm going to be stepping you through how to create objects, how to use all the objects that are available to you, and some of the new features that we have going on. So thank you all very much. If you'd like to stay up to date with our videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date. And if you enjoyed this and if it was helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.